Welcome to another video session, Drawing Cetaceans or um, Whales and their Kin. As you can see, I've made a bit of a preparational um, aspect here. I've given a, I've used a bit of a preparational aspect to um, have a splash because the um, creature I'm going to draw now, a so-called Bolivian River Dolphin, is jumping out of the water. Observant um, people will notice that uh, these river dolphins, I've drawn two before, resemble each other quite a lot physically. They've all got these bulbous uh, faces, long jaws with small teeth in them and tiny, uh, tiny eyes. And that, of course, is a great example of so-called convergent evolution. I suppose all these creatures resemble each other quite a lot because they live the same lifestyle, even if they might not necessarily be very closely related. Anyways, a bit of a shadow in, uh, over this, but still, you can see the long jaws again. Oh, that was my laptop. And this happy creature is jumping out of the water because it was because I suppose it's really happy with the way its life is going. Now, these dolphins have got rather large flippers, as you can see, a bit wing-like even, I'd say, and a clearly noticeable uh, neck. Then there's the body. Here we are. Breaching, as it is called, from the surface. And let me cheat a bit, because I'll have to check something. Yeah, we can't see its, uh, its uh, dorsal fin yet. It's right here, partly out of the water. Here we go. And uh, of course, since we're drawing the water transparently, we can see the rest of the body too, with a rather big abdomen. And the tail also quite delineated. And then there's the tail fluke, which is quite a graceful structure in these dolphins. To be honest, I'm not that much of a fan of the way I draw these flukes. For some reason, they keep eluding me, at least to the point where I like them. But we'll have to make do. Oh, let's not forget the other flipper and to give this creature a bit of a more playful um, a playful look, I'll add the flipper here, which means I'll also have to draw a few splashes like this to make way for it, to make way for the flippers. I need some extra water. After all, the creature is jumping out, so we could, we should be expecting some water to flip out. And I'll add a few lines here to make it clear, and some bubbles to make it clear that the creature is moving rather fast. And here it is, jumping up from the water, breaching as we say. Oh, wait, let me add the fluke a bit more clearly. Here we are. Okay, once again, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. See you next time.